Hi and Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 5, Hadun Kapan, and we're going to focus on the subtopic of 5.2 Alkin part 4 of the video. So in this video, we're going to predict the reaction of alkene, uh, where we're going to do the reaction of alkene with ozone, followed by zinc or water, and we can also do the reaction of ozone, followed by the dimethyl sulfate, where this both of this process is known as the ozonolysis. Also, we can do the reaction of alkene with the hot acidified KMnO4, where this is going to produce a specific product. So both of these reactions are known as the oxidation of alkene. Okay, so the oxidation of alkene can be done via ozonolysis or can be done using an oxidizing agent of KMnO4. Next, we're going to identify the position of the double bond through the ozonolysis and the reaction with hot acidified KMnO4 as we have learned in the earlier part. So, without any further ado, let us start. So, for the oxidation of alkene, we're going to start with the oxidation agent of KMnO4. So, there are two conditions in order to use this oxidizing agent where we can use KMnO4 at, S, at basic condition at room temperature or you can use KMnO4 at acidic condition using heat. Okay, so now let us look into the condition A first. Okay, so we are using the oxidizing agent of KMnO4, basic condition at room temperature, where this process is known as the hydrosilation. So let's say if we have an alkene here, which is ethene, and it is treated with KMnO4, uh, at basic condition at cold or room temperature, um, the double bond here going to break apart and it's going to attach with OH on this side and OH on this side. Okay, so uh, this is going to be an addition reaction where OH is going to be added up into the carbon-carbon double bond and on this side, OH will also be added up. Okay, so from 18, it's going to be oxidized via the hydroxylation to form 18,1,2-diol because it has two carbon-carbon uh, double, uh, carbon, carbon single bond, which is ethene, and 1,2 refer to the diol because di here refer to two hydroxyl group. Alright, now we're going to look into the condition B here in this next slide. So for the oxidation of alkene using the same oxidizing agent, which is KMnO4, with heat, with heat and acidic condition, what we're going to see when we apply that is that the carbon-carbon double bond will break apart and then it's going to be oxidized to form ethanoic acid. So if the carbon here uh, have one hydrogen group and got another uh, alkyl group here, the product here going to be the carboxylic acid. Okay, so bila-bila, bila ada hydrogen, salah satu ada hydrogen sebagai substituent of the carbon, the product going to be carboxylic acid. So the C double bond here going to become C double bond O and then on this upper part here going to attach with another oxygen due to the oxidation and H here going to be maintained. And here, the CH3 is going to just follow up like normal. So it's going to be an ethanoic acid because it got 1 and 2, which is ethane. And then it has a functional group of double bond O and OH here. So it's going to be an ethanoic acid. Meanwhile, um, this product will, this part will, go, will produce this product. So for this part, we're going to look into the description here. So if the carbon have two hydrogen present on it, the product going to be carbon dioxide and water. So for the CH here, the product that we're going to produce is carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so from it, it's going to be ethanoic acid, carbon dioxide and water. Now, let's say if we have another alkene, which is 2 methyl prop one in, one, two, three, so it's going to be prop one in and on the second carbon they're gonna attach with a metal group so that is why it named as two metal prop one in 
So when it is oxidized using KMnO4 at acidic condition at high temperature, what they're going to do is they're going to break this bond here. Okay? So when they break this bond, this part here going to produce a ketone. Okay? So bila this carbon mengandungi alkyl group dan alkyl group, the product form going to be a ketone. So for this case, it's going to be 1, 2, 3. So propane, because it is a ketone, it's going to be propane 2 on. Alright? And for this case, which is C, H, and H, the situation is same as before. So it's going to produce carbon dioxide and water again. Alright? Now let us look into another example. So let's say if we have another alkene here, which is 2,3-dimethylbutene, when it is oxidized using KMnO4 at acidic condition and high temperature. So I keep mentioning this because it is very, very compulsory to write this condition and also the reagent here. So the reagent is here and this is the condition which is at high temperature. So when it is break apart, when it has, when the carbon here attached with two alkyl group, it's going to produce a ketone. Okay, so it's going to be propane to on. And coincidentally, kebetulan, the product here is going to be the same. Okay, because they are symmetry, right? Okay, so they will, go ahead, they will have the same product. Alright. Now, we're going to do one of the exercises that uses the reverse way. Okay, so let us read the question. So, an unknown alkene with the formula of C7H4 undergoes oxidation with hot acidic potassium permanganate solution to form propanoic acid and potanoic acid. What is the structure of this alkene? Okay, just now we have seen the alkene and we need to decide the product. But now, product is given and then we have to decide what is the reactant. Okay, so at first we got C7H14 which is an alkene. Okay. We know that it is an alkene because it's mentioned here and the molecular formula which follows a general formula of C and H2N here. So this is going to be oxidized using KMnO4 at acidic condition which is H plus and hot. So hot here refer means that it is being heated. Okay, and this is going to produce a propanoic acid. So propanoic acid got three carbon. So one. 2 and 3 and double bond O, OH here refer to propanoic acid and at the same time they're going to produce butanoic acid okay so the buta butanoic acid here got 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon so it's going to be butanoic acid now we're going to predict our alkene here so in order to do that we need to combine both of the structure together so for me, the easiest way is you remove oxygen and oxygen here as well as oxygen here and oxygen here and then you can combine the two structure together. Okay, because oxidation means that you will add oxygen at the product but when you want to go to the reverse way, you remove the oxygen and combine the structure again. So what you will get is CH3, CH2, CH. Okay, so 1, 2, 3 here. 1, 2, 3 here. And then you got 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So the total number of carbon that you will have, okay, so here is the, is the breaking point. The total carbon that you have going to be 7 carbon. So you're going to be tally with your reactant, which is 6, C7. And your hydrogen is going to be 3 plus 2, which is 5, plus 1 is going to be 6, plus another one is going to be 7, plus 2 is going to be 9, plus 2 is going to be 11, plus another 3 is going to be 14. So it's going to be C7H14. So the structure here is named as heptin. Alright? Now, we're going to do... Uh, the oxidation of alkene, but now we're going to change the oxidizing agent where we're going to use ozone. 
So this process is known as the ozonolysis. Okay, let's say if we have an alkene here, which is 2 methyl prop 1 in. 1, 2, and 3. And the methyl group is attached at number 2. So ozone using a zinc and H2O. So when this happens, it's going to produce either a ketone or an aldehyde. Okay, so for ozonolysis, carbon carboxylic acid will not be produced. They're going to produce just ketone or aldehyde depending on the carbon they are attaching to. So for this case, for carbon here, if the carbon here is attached with two alkyl group, it's going to produce a ketone, which is the propanol. Okay, it's going to produce a ketone fragment. Okay, so you can imagine it to be C, double bond O, CH3, and CH3. Okay, meanwhile, on this side here, uh, last time, if you use if you use KMnO4, they're going to produce carbon dioxide and water, right? But for ozone analysis, they're going to produce aldehyde. Okay, so what they're going to do here is going to be C, H, H, and then on this side, they're going to be double bond O here. So it's going to be a methanol. Okay, so if only one group is an alkyl group, okay, and the other is hydrogen, ataupun bila kedua-dua adalah hydrogen, the side of the carbon, carbon double bond will become an aldehyde fragment. Jadi kalau dia ada dua-dua hydrogen, dia akan menjadi aldehyde fragment. So metanol ni adalah contoh aldehyde. Meanwhile, if the carbon here is attached with two alkyl group, it's going to be a, propa, a propanone which is example of ketone. Okay, now let us look into another example here. So in this case, we undergo ozonolysis where we use CH3 to uh, dimethyl sulfide here. Okay, so when it undergoes oxidation, the carbon here will be oxidized to form a ketone because it attached with two methyl group and oxygen here. Meanwhile here, got one hydrogen, right? And the other one going to be the ketone. So here going to be an aldehyde. Okay, carbonyl group with H. So this is going to be an aldehyde. Meanwhile, for this case, if we have a cycloalkane, which CH3 and undergo ozonolysis with zinc and water, they're going to produce this product here. So what we're going to do is we're going to break the carbon-carbon uh, double bond and we're going to open up the structure from cyclic it will become a straight chain alkene uh, okay so what we're going to do is we're going to um, expand the structure here because you know that c here going to have hydrogen and attaching with this side and this carbon here will attach with hydrogen okay so in order for you to know the product of the reaction it is better for you to do the numbering okay let's see if i do number one here number 2 here, number 3 here, number 4 here, and number 5 here. Okay, so you know that when I got one hydrogen on this side, my product gonna be aldehyde. Okay, same goes on this side, which is an aldehyde. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I'm gonna draw 5 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so at carbon number 1, I'm going to form an aldehyde where the double, the carbon-carbon double bond here going to be formed as oxygen. Okay, and will be attached with hydrogen here. Same goes at carbon number 5 where I'm going to form an oxygen double bond and hydrogen okay and at carbon number two i'm gonna be attaching with a metal group which is ch3 here so at carbon number one i will have double bond oh at carbon number two i will be attaching with hydrogen as well as ch3 
So carbon number two will be attaching with hydrogen and will be attaching with CH3. For carbon number three, it's going to be CH2. For carbon number four here, going to be CH2. And for carbon number five here, going to be C double bond and H, which is an aldehyde. So here is the aldehyde and here is the aldehyde. All right. So I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye.